Hello everyone, welcome to the another video on graphical user interface design using Python's TK Enter. In this video, I cover entry widget by considering password generation as an example. Entry widget is used to enter or display a line of text. This is the usage of entry class to insert entry widget on the GUI application window. Here we need to create an object of class entry with various parameters. Here the first parameter is the parent window. As next parameters we can specify various options by using keyword arguments. I will let you know the required options during the implementation of our today's example. So now I am going to cover some methods associated with this entry object. The first one is get method which returns the current text available on entry widget. And the second one is delete method used to delete some characters from the entry widget. And the third one is insert method which is used to insert some string at the given index. To introduce the entry widget, I am going to consider as an example GUI password generation. So this GUI accepts the username and there is a button we have generate password as a label on it. If I click that, for that username, a password will be generated. So that will be displayed here. For that here on the GUI, we need two labels, label one and label two, where the label one is the prompt for the username and the label two I am using to display the password generated. And this one is the entry widget and this is the button I am using to generate the password. To insert all these four widgets, we need to partition our window. Now, I am partitioning the entire window into three rows and two columns. Then we need to place the label one at row zero and column zero and the entry widget at row zero and column one. And the position for the button is in the row one which occupies two column span. And also the second label is placed at the row two which is also occupying span of two columns. With this, let's get started with the implementation of this GUI which is using entry widget. So in our application, we are going to use the entry widget and one associated method we are using that is get to extract test entered in this entry widget. Now I'm creating a new file password.py with the help of notepad editor. Our first step is to import the TK inter package and then creating an empty window. Here I have imported TK enter as TK and then I have created an object window of class TK and then I am running event loop. The next step is inserting a label to prompt the user to enter user ID. Then I have created an object L1 for the label class where the parent is window object and the text I am using here is username and the font I am using here is times with a size 15 and with bold. Then I am positioning this label at row 0 and the column 0 of the window. Next I am inserting entry widget at the required position of the window. Here my entry object is E1 which is having the parent window object and the width here I am considering of 20 and the font I am considering times and 15 as the size of the text and bold. Now I am using the grid method to place this widget at row is equal to 0 and the column is equal to 1. And then I am using another keyword argument here is pad x which is having the value 6. So that means a space of 6 pixels will be generated left side and the right side of entry widget. Next I am positioning the button where b1 is the button object. And the text I am using here is generate password and the same font I am using here and I am using a relief that is with a constant raised in the TK package where the relief decides the style of the border that widget is having. There are different styling options available for the border. Those are sunken, raised, groove, ridge and flat. For our button we are using raised as a 3D styling of the button border. Then I am using a keyword argument command to specify the function that is to be called when you click on the button. I will define that password function later. 
After that, I am positioning the button widget by using a grid method at row is equal to 1 and the column is equal to 0. Then I am specifying the column span of this button widget as 2. And then I am using another keyword argument pad y with the 10 as its value. Now I will insert the second label on the window. The second label object is L2 where the parent is the same window and the default text I am using is your password is and the same font I am using but here I am changing the text color by using the keyword argument FG stands for foreground that is green color I am using here and then I am positioning this particular label to widget at row 2 and the column 0 position of the window and I am specifying the column span of this particular widget as 2 and then I am using pad x argument with 5 as its value to include some space before and after that label widget. Now all the four widgets are placed. The next step is we need to define the function password that will be called when you click on the button widget. So this gives us the required function password with the required modules. Now as a password I am going to generate some random text of 5 characters. To generate that random text as a password, I am going to import two modules. The first one is string and the second one is random. And then I am using a global variable ra, which holds a string. That string contains all the uppercase and the lowercase characters returned by ASCII letters constant available in string module. And also that ra string will have all the digits from 0 to 9 returned by the constant digits in the string module. Now I am defining the password function which is not accepting any arguments here. Within the function I am defining ra as a global variable which is holding the required characters as well as digits as a string. And then I am using pwd as a local variable to hold empty string. And then I am repeating a for loop for 5 times. In each iteration the choice method associated with the random module picks a random character from a variable ra and that will be appended to the variable password. After the completion of all the five iterations of this for loop, the pwd variable will have randomly selected five characters in it. And then I am calling the configure method associated with label 2 to display a text. That text will have hi and then I am using the get method associated with e1 entry object. So that extracts the text available at the entry that is our user ID in our case and that will be appended with your password is and then that will be again appended with the password of five characters that is randomly generated with the help of this for loop. So that's all with our program. Let me execute this program in the command prompt. See here our GUI is generated with a label username and there is an entry widget which allows a text to be entered as a user ID and then there is a button available to generate the password. That generated password with 5 characters will be appear here at the second label. I am considering the username cache. I am clicking on the button generate password. Then the password generated for the cache is R6SL8. Now I am going to generate the password for the another user. The username here is Kishore. If I click on the button generate password, then my password is AACGS, which is the combination of capital letters as well as small case letters. So that's all, guys. In this way, we can use the entry widget to enter some text into our GUI. That's it guys, that is the end of today's concept. I will meet you with new concept in the next video.